Okay, today we will learn about how to reconstruct um, time domain waveform, in this case current waveform, from harmonic spectrum. Okay, I touch a little bit about uh, the uh, introduction to harmonics. As we know, harmonics come from the um, nonlinear loops. Okay, so for this class, I will show these uh, pictures of me showing uh, the oscilloscope diagram the screenshot of oscilloscope that show the harmonics current of a diode rectifier load so this is the current of diode rectifier load this is how it looks like and this is the harmonics spectrum of the current as we know when the waveform is in sinusoidal mode okay uh, this is a very clean waveform so if we plot the harmonic spectrum it will look only on the fundamental side so this is the fundamental okay but in this case our waveform is a nonlinear loop so the waveform looks like this and if we plot the harmonic spectrum you will see we got the fundamental and then we got a few other component okay harmonics number three the fifth harmonics seven harmonics ninth harmonics okay all of this is harmonics okay So what is harmonics? Harmonics is the sinusoidal component that the frequency is integer multiple of the fundamental. Okay, in this particular case, our fundamental is at 50 Hz. Okay, that's mean harmonics number three. The third harmonics is 150 Hz. And fifth harmonics is 250 Hz so and and so forth so that's the introduction of harmonics today what we learn is how to convert this harmonic spectrum this is what we call as harmonic spectrum into the waveform so let's go to my computer and we will use microsoft excel for this okay okay i put in the description below a uh, zip file for these two folder the first the first is all 0 1 2 5 this is the waveform of voltage and current yeah that is the voltage the orange in color and then the cn in color that's the current waveform for a diode rectifier loads as you can see, the voltage is sinusoidal and the current is not sinusoidal. Okay. So this is the first folder. The second folder is the harmonic spectrum of the same waveform. Okay. The same waveform, but now uh, in harmonics analysis. So this is harmonic spectrum. So what we do today is convert this information of harmonic spectrum into time domain waveform. Okay, for this exercise, you will open the harmonic spectrum uh, file, this F0126HRMCSV. Okay, first, before we do any exercise, we have to save this as Excel, okay, because CSV file is very limited. So save wherever place that you want. Okay, in this case I just save here. But now choose as LSX. Okay. Okay. So now we are in um, Microsoft Excel feature, and I copy this uh, waveform so that we can refer whenever that we want to. Okay. So this is the waveform for this particular harmonic spectrum. What we do now is convert this into the 
original time varying waveform okay like the one that we see on the uh, f0125 yeah okay so that what we will do today okay we will convert the harmonic spectrum into harmonic current waveform so first I need you to open another sheet okay so what we need to do is to copy this information of harmonic spectrum okay so just click and drag from the the first column until the last column okay and then copy go to our other sheet okay and then paste as transpose choose this and then it just transpose so we will plot the harmonic space on this okay i want you to go to the end of the uh, column okay and then we will start here at column ba so this is where we put our waveform so now i need you to uh, write number no number stands for number and then put zero and the first uh, row and then on the second second cell just put one okay once you have this select both of the cells and go to the um, lower right of the cell until you get this uh, black cross click and hold and then drag down until we get uh, 300 okay we go until we got 300 cell so this is fill okay now we already got 300 cell okay and then the step two is to put the time put time now in millisecond and for my case this waveform is taken in Malaysia so we are at 50 Hertz uh, power system so our time for one period is 20 millisecond so put this formula equal signs 20 divide by 100 times the cell uh, on the left that will be this formula enter okay once you done with that go to the right bottom of the cell and then double click so it will fill until the end of the uh, row go to the column bc now put radians okay now we put our radian so as we know uh, in 2 pi radian equals to one cycle in our case is 20 millisecond or 100 points okay for radians we put equal sign pi and then open and close the bracket divide by 50 for half cycle times this number okay column b a2 and then enter now same exercise go to the right until you got this uh, black cross and then just double click okay okay now we put our fundamental so our fundamental is the um, the first waveform to put our fundamental use equal sign and then go to the first column uh, no the second column column number b and take the hrms that is the harmonics rms in this case fundamental rms okay that's column b3 okay and then times by square root 2 because we need to get the amplitude okay Okay. time sinusoidal open the bracket use this number 
B1, okay, because that is the harmonics number. In this case, number one is the fundamental times the radian. In this case, radian is BC2, okay, and then plus the phase. In our case now, the phase is zero. Okay, before we finish this um, formula, we need to lock certain number of cells so that we can copy easily to the other harmonics. So what we have to do is lock this three uh, at the, the number. Okay, so B3, put lock on the number three. Okay, to, to do that, just use dollar sign before three. Okay, and then for B1, put dollar sign before 1, between B and 1, and then put dollar sign between B and 5. Okay, for radian, you put the lock on the uh, BC, not on the number 2. So, put lock there. So this is our final uh, equation. So after finish, just press enter. Same drill, double click here. Okay, before we go further, it's good to check this waveform, whether it's correct or not. So select column BD, okay. Press control and then hold control, select BB the time. Okay, press insert. Use this uh, scatter chart and then use this smooth line scatter chart. Okay, if you get my form like this, that's when we are on the right track. We can proceed into other harmonics. Okay, I delete this first. Now put this uh, title for the second harmonics as second. Put the title for third harmonics as third. Okay. Select both of these, okay, and then just click and drag on the red, uh, on the black cross until you get number 50th. There, so 50th should be at column DA, okay. Now you can copy this uh, formula, okay, just click and drag until the harmonics 50th okay select the 50th um, harmonics on the first uh, row and then click and drag just for selection okay we're not using fill now just for selection and then go to the end and then same drill, double click when you see this black cross. Okay, now we left with our final um, exercise is to sum up all these harmonics. So we put total here as the total current. Use formula of sum, okay, and then click 50th harmonics, the first uh, row of 50th harmonics until the fundamental okay from column uh, bd2 until da2 and then press enter same drill fill until the end and now choose column b db the total current hold control select b b and then choose the scatter plot okay um in this case i don't have the right waveform let me see what goes wrong a few moments later okay i left one very important uh step okay which is to convert the degree into radians okay it's my bad Okay, but it's a good opportunity for me to teach you that uh, now and then we make mistake 
it's okay to make mistakes as long as we know how to troubleshoot and correct them. So what happened is uh, Excel calculate trigonometry using radians, not using a uh, degree. So when our uh, harmonics, the phase of harmonic is in degree, as we can see here, in degree, we need to convert the formula into um, radian. So before B5, put this uh, radians sign, uh, radian formula. Okay, and then open and close for that B a dollar sign 5. And when you've done that, press enter. Okay, and same drill, double click. Okay. And now, okay, you just copy to the other, uh, the other harmonics, okay. All right, fill the others. And then now we see our total, okay. Just select DB and then select control and hold, select a time, insert, this waveform voila so we have our waveform here okay so that is our waveform this is the time varying waveform of our harmonics current okay and then that's uh, all for this video